Okay. Um, we got up to ah! that one, but I was going to begin it by showing the the gathering the chi movement before it. Left foot turns foot 90 degrees, in breath. Three, and that's when we go in Fa Jing mode though. Pa, pa, like that. Now watch what the hands are doing though. They're changing from yin to yang. We might spend a bit of time on this. This is a qi gathering movement because this is an explosive fa jing movement. You're gathering the qi to pa to throw it out. It's just like in the beginning, it's very difficult to like in to gather the qi instantly. So this is just a way of showing you how to do it. Whereas in a realistic situation it would be pa, it would be gathered instantly and and given out instantly as well. So from here again, left foot turns weighted. Keep your weight on it on the heel. 90 degrees. Now this hand comes over. Let's just do the right hand. In breath. In breath. See what it's doing? Out breath. In breath. Out breath. Pat someone on the bum, in breath. See what the hand looks, see how it's coming up like this? Out breath. Maybe just do a close up on my hand, son. But you don't need to do it three times, I'll do it a few more times. In breath. Out breath. In breath. Out breath. In breath. Out breath. Notice what the body is doing. Watch the shoulders. In breath. Right one's down. Out breath. Left one's down slightly. See how the body waves? Look. I'm doing this a bit faster, of course, so you can see how the body waves. should feel a little bit of tension on your left leg when you go here and then it relaxes as you come back here. Your eyes just follow your body movement. Okay, now while you're doing that, so you've come from here, you've come out, now watch what the left hand does now. As this hand comes across, see the left hand changes to a yin shape. As it comes across, it changes to a yang shape. Just after that one, see that one just gets there and then that one just finally changes to a yang shape. But this one's not as yang as the left one, you see? So, so which makes it more yin. So I'll just... See how the hands are changing from yin to yang. While one's yang, the other's yin. Now this left one, see, slightly follows the right one. You do it three times. So I'll just do the whole section in breath. And on the third one, that's where we go bang, 
and this one, notice that the left one goes yin just before the strike. And let's see how the feet are, they're pointing this way. Or south, east, west, north, west, both feet are pointing north, west, and you're back on your back leg. It's got to be a farging movement. So, I'll just do the whole thing for you. See how the movements are getting a little smaller now. Uh, is this the third one? I don't know. I've lost count anyway. Let, let's make this one the third, third time around. Thank you, Sam. Okay, I'll just do this. Oh, that's the third one, sorry. Okay, so we'll go to the third one. Now I'm going to go into the next move. I'll just show you how it works first, and then we'll have to do it slowly, of course. slowly, half pace with that one. And that right heel barely touches the ground. It's a difficult move. This is one of the chi, internal chi learning tools that we have. So that far jing movement, every far jing move we do, for instance the punch here, it doesn't just stop at the punch, it always uh, like a wave coming in on the shore, it goes crash and then slows down as it slowly goes back up to sea. Uh, so we've got the punch. <laughs> See? On this one, we've got... Bah! So doing that slowly, what happens is, as, you've done the, as soon as you've done the pa, both hands go yin-shaped, and they come up like this. This is what I...